Today's class will be about uh, product planning, and I call it a uh, uh, love journey. So I, I just use a metaphor how you start your your life. You know, I don't know how many people. Uh, anyone want to share your stories about how you start your love with uh, another your your girlfriend or your boyfriend? You know, any people want to? I'm going to get married in uh, August. Oh, congratulations. <laughs> yeah. That's great. You want to share? Yeah. Uh, story? <laughs> I recently got accepted, back uh, a couple of years ago, I recently got accepted to San Jose State. And uh, when I got accepted here, uh, my girlfriend, she had just moved to uh, California from Tennessee. And uh, she met me, I, I work at Trader Joe's and I typically uh, am a graphic, I'm in the graphic arts uh, office in the back. And I don't go, normally go out on the sales floor. But uh, I went out on the sales floor on this particular day and I didn't even notice her, right? So she saw me and that's, uh, she, a couple of things after that happened where she was, she was, uh, rooming with a, another girl whose mom also shopped at the store and since she didn't have the guts to appro approach me her mom um, <coughs> approached me and gave me or gave Rory my fiance uh, my phone okay. so the first thing that we talked on really was a smartphone <laughs> okay that's great um, yeah so uh, Congratulations for uh, the coming married. Thank you. So I guess most people it's like that. Um, you you change <coughs> start a date, uh, then uh, engage to the married, right? I know some kind, um, some people even told me uh, uh, you put a ring on different fingers means different meanings. Like it's different in different countries. I don't know. Like this one is for uh, chasing, uh, dating, uh, engaged. Married and divorced. <laughs> I don't know if that's true. <laughs> um, uh, okay. So, so at first, right, so if we compare the, the love journey with uh, a product, you know, how you create your, your own business, your new product, uh, engage with your user. <coughs> it actually, it's similar like uh, how you start a love journey, you know. First, you need to find the right target, right? You want to find the one right person. You, you want to know um, who is your, the taste, you know, the, um, the one you, you want to spend all, all your life with, you know. Um, so that's also about finding the uh, opportunity, you know. Um, so you, you want to know who, you know, who the target, who. So you want first you want to define your target market segment, right? Um, who is your primary user groups? And um, that's why I require you guys to write a screen. You no, know, uh, means uh, user group definition. You need to give them a definition. You know what kind of user you are targeting. Um, now first you need to. Uh, uh, research to validate your user group uh, uh, definition, right? Um, you also uh, got to uh, create a list of attributes. Um, the attributes was also, also mentioned about in the uh, textbook. Uh, I guess if you guys read the book, you should have already seen that. Um, <coughs> so uh, you, you want to know what's their primary goals. Why the user come to your site? Uh, for example, if it's a company website, are they coming here to look for a job? Or are they coming here to look for uh, vendors? You know, so, or are they, um, you know, or are they coming here to do social net network? You know, different users have different uh, goals they want to uh, accomplish through your site or through your web, web or mobile service, right? Write down the, the goals, you know. 
Uh, so also what's the roles for each uh, group, user group? Uh, are they a job sinker or potential plant? Or are they media, media groups? You know. Um, also uh, like demographic issues, their uh, sexual, sex, age, family, income level, you know, uh, or any uh, region, you know, uh, and so on. Uh, also um, their uh, experience level, are they experts? With tech, or are they educated, or are they uh, first uh, fresh user? You know. Um, also, maybe some uh, organizational uh, information, like the size of a company, you know, what position, what kind of uh, position are they in their company, and uh, their work patterns, you know, all the those issues, and other social cultural facts, you know. Um, um, for example, uh, this is how we uh, when we did uh, um, when we design the uh, um, innovation uh, platform for a company called Hire. I don't know how many people know Hire. Uh, it's uh, if you go Best Buy, uh, there are many uh, refrigerators, you know, stove oven, you know, um, microwave oven uh, manufactured by Hire. Um, so Hire. Uh, Come to us, want to um, want to design a platform to encourage uh, innovation. You know, so we design the we analyze the users that first they are um, own the own employees, some retired experts. You know, also some uh, school students, designers, design office, design house vendors. You know, and also for the side administrators. You know, and so how we. Um, how we going to use different way to acquire our users? Then how we uh, retain them, uh, stay with us, and uh, encourage them to refer for other people to participate. So we we uh, we use some like pull and push strategy to help them to uh, attract and also keep the users. Um, Okay, so so you you you, you find a you find a, a lady you really like like you know you want to know uh, who she already have a boyfriend you know so you want to know who is your competitor you know how strong uh, is your competitor right so you, you want to analyze all the issues so um, for the for the web or mobile service you know, they, you know normally when you want to start a new service you want to know you want to know. Because there are so many people have ideas here. It's so difficult to find a, find a service that nobody has ever, ever done before, you know. Normally you can find a competitor who already you know, in the playground. So for a web service, for, for example, you want to know uh, how their design looks like, what's their uh, features, functionalities, you know. Um, and what's their uh, SEO, what's their ranking, you know, uh, search engine optimizations. And all the issues um, and their popularity, uh, popularity is in a school like this, and also keyword performance, you know, blah blah, you know, just an example, you know. So um, also you want to know what she, he or she like or dislike, you know. So you want to know uh, their behavior. You want to know. Do some research, you know, before you reach reach to her, reach, you know. You know. Um, so research we already mentioned about many uh, methodologies during last class. So there are several I didn't mention. Uh, I just put here, like uh, heuristic analysis. You know, some student uh, Patrick uh, talked about last time, last time, and also some student asked about the difference between uh, heuristic. Analysis uh, with uh, expert review, you know. A heuristic uh, evaluation is uh, normally you use one to three experts to review your product, but but based on a certain guidelines, you know, user experience guidelines. So um, they have to write down the guidelines, have to write down the use case, you know, they have to go through, then give you a feedback. So by doing this, you can get a very quick feedback from the experts, you know. Um, but what's the difference with uh, expert review, you know? Expert review normally is uh, less formal, 
you know, you just ask one or two experts, give you some feedback. It is similar, but uh, actual review is less formal, and they don't have to according to to a guideline. You know, the more, most likely based on their experience. You know, yeah. <coughs> so um, some popular heuristic analysis uh, guidelines, for example, the Nielsen uh, heuristic uh, guidelines. Um, you will. The experts, uh, heuristic experts, will look at uh, um, the visibility of the system status. You know, which means uh, the users should always know what kind of situation they are at at your site, you know, or at your mobile service, and they always know where to go back or where to move forward. You know. Um, that's why if you read another book I re refer to you guys called uh, Don't Make Me Think. You know, they, they mention the uh, uh, strategy, the uh, principle called breadcrumbs principle. You know, you guys know this, right? Uh, the breadcrumbs is uh, from a fairy tale that uh, a, a little kid, um, his uh, stepmother want to, uh, want to kill him, you know, so bring him to the, to the woods and left him in the woods, you know. So, um, so he was so smart. So every time he bring a bread, so I put the bread on uh, during the road. So every time he can follow the bread uh, crumbs to get back home, you know. But there was one time uh, some the birds, the pigeon, uh, eat all the bread uh, crumbs. So he lost his way to go back, you know. So that was from that uh, fairy tale story. So uh, in the in the website uh, or uh, mobile service is the same, you know. Because for mobile or web service, you know, for internet, uh, key key is uh, the links. It's all about the links. Link from this thread, you know, link to each step, each comment. By so many links, it's very often for users to get confused or get lost. So you you want them to be able to find the way out or find the way back or find. Or, or at least get to know what situation are they at, you know. That's why, for example, when you are making a payment online, they, they will show you, okay, you have one, two, three, four, four steps to go, you know, you are at which step, you know, now you need to put your uh, card number, the next step you need to confirm, you know, something like that, then you're done, right, you finish. Um, also, um, there should be a match between the system and the real world. You don't want to speak a language that the users don't understand. You know, you need to uh, avoid to use tech word, or tech terms. You know, um, uh, you you want to follow the real world convention, follow their uh, habits, right? Um, <coughs> so they want you want the users to be able to control and with the freedom. You know, um, they want you want to have a consistent. <coughs> With a with a standard, you know, um, a consistency means um, if you use one language here and in the next page you use the same language, you know. For example, for go back, you always use the same same icon, you know, same uh, way to make them go back. Or like um, for example, I, uh, Apple uh, iPhone, you enlarge the picture like this. You don't go to iPhone 6 and you bring them in other languages, then they don't understand. But, um, uh, you, they should uh, be able to uh, prevent the error, you know, um, uh, avoid error to uh, happen. And also, uh, with uh, recognition, other than record, means it's easy for you to understand instead of force you to remember, force you to learn and remember, right? And also, uh, it shouldn't require you to spend a lot of time to compare, to calculate, you know, to, to do all the things, you know, which will uh, bring more problems to you. Um, efficiency of use, flexibility, uh, aesthetics, and minimalism design, right? Um, hope the users to recognize, diagnosis, and recover from errors. You know, even if error happens, 
the users should know in a plain language, know what happens, and they know how to recover, right? Uh, or, even though our goal is to make sure they don't need help, but still better provide the help uh, documents, right? Um, <coughs> Is another psychologist, uh, GitHub uh, Powers, also provide uh, heuristic uh, guidelines. You know, it's kind of similar. You know, kind of similar, like um, uh, automated unwanted workflow reduce uncertainty. You know, display data in a manner that is clear and obvious. Um, <coughs> uh, use a very familiar network make it very easy to learn, very easy um, to use. Um, use uh, daily uh, metaphors, you know, use a metaphor that relates to your daily life. Um, uh, also, you know, uh, uh, avoid the recall, you know, yeah, something like this. So, um, also, another methodology is called a contextual uh, inquiry or contextual interview. You know, you want to know, uh, you want to interview, and what uh, while you you interview, you watch and listen. You know, while the users are at work. You know, so um, so this way you conduct at their own environment instead of uh, your laboratory. You know. Um, so this will help you to find out what's the social environment for the users. You know, uh, what kind of facts are around him might disturb uh, him or, or distract him from his work. You know, um, what's the physical environment for them? You know, in what kind of uh, or for example, what kind of internet connect, uh, connection you know we have? You know, Wi-Fi, 3G, 4G, 2G. You know, um, how long does it take for them to finish a task? You know, um, uh, what what if uh, some task they are not able to finish in, in implement? You know, all these issues. Um, of course, sometimes you will combine them together, combine a contextual interview together with uh, your speed testing, you know, like, like uh, I mentioned before, how we uh, go, go to the real environment, go to users, uh, living or working environment, uh, conduct the interview while we conduct the USB testing, you know. Um, <coughs> so it's not, um, yeah, just be creative. Be the, the purpose is to find out the problem, you know, understand the users, right? <coughs> uh, another methodology is called uh, user typology, you know, for you help you to uh, to segment the users, you know. So you will need the users with their typical uh, uh, behavior, you know. You use some. Uh, um, uh, build some user models, you know, to understand uh, different users. So this way uh, is for you to understand the uh, user behavior. You know, this group of people come to your site is for what kind of activities. It is not like personas or like, uh, um, you know, um, like your um, market segments. It's more like uh, task-based, you know, based on what kind of task they are going to uh, do in. On your side. <coughs> so of course, uh, you know, after you get to know more about the the girl you want to ch chase, you want to chase, you want to make up yourself. You, you know, you want uh, not just dress up. You want to also show him a personality. You know, you want to brand yourself. You know, maybe you are a muscle man, maybe you are a gentleman. You know, <laughs> maybe you are somehow. You know. Uh, so you, you need to give yourself an identity, a brand, right? So, so for for product, the same. You you want to do a brand, you know. You want to give them a strong impression, uh, together with price, strategy, company name, you know, customer service, you know, the issues. So, um, so the branding. Some people say, uh, 
the branding, what's different between branding experience and the user experience? Uh, I would say um, the brand, brand strategy come out from your uh, user research. Come out your, your positioning, your company positioning is based on your target users, right? So your brand uh, strategy should be um, based on the, all your target users. Then you form the uh, branding uh, experience becomes your identity, becomes your company DNA. Then you apply all the DNA to your design, just like uh, um, the idea of a computer I mentioned to you guys. Last time, you know. yeah. So it seems like a lot of things are doing it backwards. Like the marketing department is saying to do the research. Right. Um, some company they already exist, like like um, LG or you know they, they de develop many products in different industries. So what they normally do is they create a new brand for a new target market. Right. Like like um, uh, Toyota and Lexus are actually the same company, but two brands. One for the family users, one for the luxury, you know, commercial users. So they will give you two brandings with two identities, right? Yeah. <coughs> um, of course, and I also would say, we are the CEO of Oversoft all the time, right? And that's why you guys are building your portfolio. The portfolio done means, the, of course, including, including the, the project you have done, the education you have taken, you know, also including the friends you have made, you know, everything you have done, you know, build up your credits, build up your reputation, build up your portfolio, you know. So, so nowadays, you are always the CEO, at, at least first a CEO of yourself, right? So, um, so uh, how we uh, branding ourselves, you know. Yeah. <coughs> So uh, after that, you need to find out how to wait for for the uh, lady to get to know you, right? Uh, which means uh, you need to uh, bring up the awareness. So there are uh, many ways to do that awareness. For uh, for internet and mobile, of course, nowadays we care a lot about word of mouth. You know, word of mouth, which is. Um, the cheapest way and also um, the best way to do marketing, to do promotion, right? Much better than do advertisement on TV, on, uh, on uh, billboards, you know. So, um, so we want to create a viral capacity. You know, you use the word of mouth together with social media, with uh, uh, connect connectivities, you know, uh, publishing tools, you know, to, to create this effect. Um, you know, nowadays, the consumers has given much better chance, got, get much uh, better power to speak out for themselves about their own opinions. Not like before, your words can, cannot be listened by the world, you can only through a newspaper, a nationwide newspaper, or by a TV channel, like, or radio station. Nowadays, you can just simply post the tweets online, and the world may know, right? So, um, <coughs> um, <coughs> you want to think about every touch point. You know, touch point means, um, for example, uh, we, we used to help uh, um, a restaurant to enhance their uh, user experience. So even the waitress, what they say, uh, their smile, you know, uh, all company slogan, you know, the, the, um, the way, the layout of the food, you know, on the plate, you know, everything and the lights can become a touch point, can become, be, be something that affects user's experience, right? So need, you need to think about every touch point. You need to optimize every the user experience of every touch point, not just the, the on the screen, the, the interface, right? <coughs> then after that, you can need, need the uh, generation. You know, you have brand promise. 
uh, you start building a loyalty building a trust. Right? <coughs> Uh, okay, so you want to get to her life cycle, right, which means accessibility, right? Um, <coughs> then you guys, you want to approach to her, you want to uh, uh, have a first date. A uh, first date means um, you want to learn her, you know, you get to know each other, maybe like what we do, observation with the users, you know. Um, <coughs> For example, this um, this product for the listener was a product we, we developed for uh, Nokia before. A lot of time uh, we it was a through a very very uh, small observation. We found out we noticed that many taxi drivers like to listen to radios. Of course, right? They drive a lot. So uh, why don't let them listen to? They especially they like to listen to. Uh, you know, uh, Beijing talk show. You know, Beijing talk show normally have two people, you know, to talk, um, to make a talk show. So we, we make, but they are like, driving, they cannot uh, watch the screen, you know. So we make this listener, they can just select chapter, then uh, <coughs> they can uh, automatically uh, read, uh, read the uh, talk show for them to listen. Um, <coughs> But okay, you need to dress up, you need to be happy to check her, you know, uh, means you need a good design, right? Uh, <coughs> that's it. Uh, you want to try, maybe drop the date, or you know, you, you need to deliver, deliver yourself, right? Um, or you, uh, you need to tell him or tell her how good you are, which means advertisement, right? Um, <coughs> Or, or like, um, you know, you need, you, or you have another strategy, you let, let her friend tell him, tell her how good you are, you know, mean, which means popular relationships, you know, PR, you know. Um, <coughs> or you attend expo, you know, um, it's kind of like in a way you get to know each other, create more chance for them to know you, you know. Um, then you can fail in love, right? Um, which means the product should be offering a functional and also emotional features, right? So when we talk about love, um, <coughs> the, the, the psychologist, uh, Robert uh, Stamper, has this uh, triangle theory of love. The triangle means if you guys want to get married, you need to have uh, passion, intimacy and the commitment, right? So, if you only have passion and the intimacy, it's just a romance, romantic love, it's just a romance, right? If you have both intimacy and the commitment, but no passion anymore, then it's just a com companion -like love, you know? If you only have passion and the commitment, but no intimacy, which is fatal love, you know? So you got to have all three, and for product it's cheap. So uh, when you analyze your product, think about do your product has has all these three things? You know how you to, how you um, how you make the users always keep their passion. How you bring them close to you, have the intimacy. How they make sure they have the uh, commitment, willing to spend more time with you, you know, yeah. <coughs> I would say it's the same, yeah, when you want to have a relationship with your users. Yeah. Uh, <coughs> okay, so, great, so you guys finally become boyfriend and a girlfriend, which maybe means uh, early adoption or, or, you know, child, product child, you know. Um, <coughs> Which we already talked about, you know, in with the early adopter, early majority, later majority, and the uh, legacy. Okay, so uh, get engaged. Getting engaged, uh, we normally um, analyze how people engage a product, usually it's a 5E model, 
uh, maybe you guys can learn this as well, you know, how to uh, use a family model to analyze the product. Uh, first, you need to analyze how it's the users are enticed, you know, enticed to this product. How they get to know, how they get to avail, how they attract it to your product. Then how they enter your product, you know, how they sign up or refer or give a coupon, you know, get a coupon come to your site. Um, or how they engage, they come to this site, they publish, uh, publish, uh, share a link or share some uh, information. They send a photo, they upload a photo, you know, they click like, you know, they, they have uh, so many uh, activities they can engage in your, uh, uh, in your products. Then how they exist your product, and what's the extent, you know, even after they uh, exit, are they still be able to link back to your product, you know, or they just gone, you know. You need to uh, analyze all the five years. Uh, this was another uh, reader we, we designed for Nokia, also for Nokia, very early, you know, a reader. So we, we encourage the, the people to be able to uh, read at, at the, uh, their um, frag, 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 uh, I'd say very small, tiny times, you know, like when they are waiting for the subway, you know, or, yeah, fresh, 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 fresh times, yeah, thanks. Yeah, um, but you also want them to be able to uh, more more engage. So we also allow them to form a, a reading team, so they can read together, learn together, you know, yeah, share share their interests together. And we did a lot of again for the company, you know, um, how they um, encourage them more involved to play more to uh, to gambling more, you know. Uh, okay, yeah, so you want to marriage loyalty, you know, uh, how to build the loyalty. Um, of course, you are offering a service, offering a product. Uh, you have the awareness, you know, uh, you with a good uh, product image, company image. Uh, uh, this field, child, with good performance. And you keep repeat all the, all the images. Keep repeat all the uh, good quality, uh, uh, good feedbacks to the, to the customers. Then they, they get to understand your value. Then they build up the trust and become your loyal customer, loyal user. <coughs> and of course, you don't want this to happen. You don't want uh, a divorce, which means your users are attracted by new service or new product. Like um, MySpace, you know, lost this market, their market uh, to uh, Facebook, you know. So, um, but but um, yeah, but it's not it's not easy because um, uh, for marriage you have so so many needs. Your kids, your family, you have so many needs. Your experience together for so many years. So it's not that easy. But for, for even for a restaurant, at least you need to go to another location to go to another restaurant. But for web or, or computer or, or mobile service, it's so simple. It's just a simple click, the gun, right? So, so loyalty becomes even tougher for a mobile or web service, you know, which means you need to be more attractive. Always keep the passion, keep the intimacy, keep the commitment. Yeah. Um, so some some games, all, all these are very popular games. You guys already know. You know, like um, <coughs> why they become popular. You know, uh, but I don't think they already they keep the commitment, right? Because they are already lose the market. No, no, not that like popular anymore. But they had the passion and they were simple, you know. Um, <coughs> so they have simple logic. Uh, but, but even simple, don't make it too simple. You want the effects. I mean, simple logic, but com so complicated uh, effects. Very cool effects, right? Um, 
uh, meet the so social needs, you'll be able to compete with your friends, you know, let them more engage, reward, you know. Um, also, you know, um, many people has a perfection need in their, in their uh, heart. Like, um, the, the, the Russian uh, blocks, is that called Russian blocks? Yeah. Has been popular for so many years. Is that Russian Tetris? Yeah. Oh, Tetris. Okay, yeah. <laughs> um, part of the thing is because people <coughs> like to be perfect, you know. People have a longing, longing for perfection. I want to make everything, every task done, you know. So how you uh, stimulate people's such needs, you know. Um, which means, you know, you also give them small target for each milestone, you know, and also have a story behind, like this called Fruit Ninja has a story behind, you know. The cut of you know, is the same, you know, same, simple logic, you know, but very good uh, uh, effect, and you'll be able to play with your friend, you know. Um, <coughs> Angry Bird is the same, you know. But uh, I think every game of them is because uh, they, they are lack of commitment. That's why they, they cannot last long. After like after the uh, first three or four months. Uh, <coughs> Temple Run, you know, the same, same thing. Mm. <coughs> So together with uh, with um, today, what we've been talking about, how we plan products, uh, I use a case study. You know, uh, this is, is a product we designed, also designed for Nokia. It's one of my biggest products <coughs> back in the past. Um, a lot of time, you know, it was cell keyboard phones, feature phones. It's not touch screen, and uh, uh, the widgets allow you to customize web content, use the uh, uh, RSS feed to make the web content become a widget and push to a phone. That's, that's the, uh, the how it works, you know. So anything you, you like on the, on the internet, on the website, you make that uh, RSS feed widget, then subscribe to, to your phone with a uh, with, with service. Uh, so when we start doing this, just like what we said, uh, first we need to analyze all the user groups. What's their roles? What kind of tasks they are going to, uh, to do in our website? What kind of, uh, what, what, what's, uh, what kind of thing they want to achieve from our website? You know, what they will do? Then after we analyze the user groups, yeah, we analyze uh, uh, the tasks. And all the tasks they are going to do in a website defines your task, uh, your, your web or mobile features, you know. Um, <coughs> then based on this, you develop your, uh, your, uh, your, your site map, you know, your uh, product architect. Um, of course, uh, you will also do some uh, card sorting to help you to better organize the site maps, which we will talk about uh, next class. Yeah. Then we build the uh, uh, first prototype. You know, with the prototype, we do uh, we do a testing. <coughs> um, we use different ways to collect the feedback findings. You know. Uh, analyze all the users, what's the expectations, how they accomplish their tasks, you know, any kind of usability issues, you know, they find, they, they have. We, uh, we recruit 16 people, 6 male, 6 female, to do the usability testing. Uh, about this, you know, uh, normally, Normally people will say that we want as many users as possible to part participate. Then we can find as many problems as possible, right? 
but actually that's not the case. You know, um, that's why normally when we do a focus group, it's about six to ten people. But when we do a, a usability, usability testing, normally we will do like uh, I know some people, some companies use five or six people, but normally we, my company, we use uh, twelve people because the uh, theory said um, if it's, you recruit six people to contact contact the USB testing, 60% of the problems we find out through the testing. Then if you use um, 12 people, then 90% 90, 90 of the problem we find out. You know, like 15 people, maybe uh, 95, like, you know, but you can never find out 100% problems. So 12 is already a good number to find out 90% of problems. Yeah. <coughs> So we are that's what we're doing the research, that's in my company. And then uh, we are uh, writing the reports, you know, how what kind of problems we find through testing with the uh, the prototype. We get some uh, uh, data happening uh, uh times they finish one task and or uh, um, what's the uh, satisfaction rate, all the things, you know. That's also the in the report. Now then we uh, redesign the layouts, redesign the uh, product layouts. Um, <coughs> we also analyze or target or target the users. Um, what's the color? What's the life and the fashion style in their life? You know. Then we analyze. Um, the primary color and the secondary color for the users, for their lives. Then we bring the, the color in the products. <coughs> um, then we build, the, build another prototype, build another product. Then we go to the lab to do the USB testing again, you know, to find out uh, overall satisfaction, understanding, you know, if it's easy to use. Uh, what's the willingness to pay, you know, um, color and the design preference, you know, easy to search or if it has uh, playability, you know, all the issues will be found out. <coughs> or we go to the real uh, working and uh, uh, working and the living environments to do the uh, observation and also um, um, uh, require them to write the user diary. Uh, <coughs> then we write the report again. And let's find the website. And we invented <laughs> we invented a new um, octopus style of information architect. You may never see such such um, navigation in any other websites. You know, this is our invention, you know. Because like, like we talk about the app style, you know, for, for navigation, no, we don't like that. But that's our invention, you know. Um, <coughs> that's another page. Yeah. And we also uh, um, restructure the, the mobile, mobile end, uh, the, the layout, and also the uh, path flow, you know. Then I will redesign the um, the web UI, you know, the mobile UI. <coughs> <coughs>